Okay, so today I'm going to tie my shower beetle, and I'm going to tie it in a tan color. Normally I do it in black. So I've cut myself out a piece of tan, two millimeter thick, dense foam for the uh, back and all that. So I've started my brown, dark brown thread on a 1x long hook shank, and I'm going to go ahead and take super glue now, and I'm going to kind of coat the super glue I'm going to use on the threads before I put the uh, foam on. And that's going to help keep it locked onto the hook to where it does not spin. So being this foam, I'm going to go ahead and start with light wraps, work my way up to end about two eyes back. And now I'm going to work my way back even and then continue to wrap nice and pulling down and compressing the foam as you can see and now it's locked on and i'm going to leave that hang the next thing i'm going to do is take this very very small chenille tinsel and this is going to be the copper color and i'm just going to go ahead and tie that right in on top just like that and wrap my thread all the way up to the front again so I'm going to take my chenille very quickly and wrap touching wraps right around that body of foam. And when I get up here to where the thread's hanging, the tie-in point, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of wraps. And then go ahead and tie it off like that and then cut it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my legs. And the legs, I'm going to use Crystal Flash. And again, this is all normally tied with black, but today I'm doing it in a brown. So I'm going to take one piece of Crystal Flash, like this, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. I'm going to take those two pieces, cut it in half again, like that. And then I'm going to fold it one more time and cut it in half again just like this and now i have enough for legs and i'm going to wrap my thread back through that chenille to about the midway point which would be just in front of the hook point if you can see where my threads hang so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this bundle of crystal chenille or crystal flash and I'm going to come right across the top and I'm going to go one, two, three wraps and then pull it to the side just like that. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to come up on the front side and I'm going to go to the back side, tie it in one more time. One, two. So I'm going to wrap forward, and now I'm going to bring, first I'm going to take some uh, super glue again, and just gently touch where it's uh, tied in for those legs. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this foam forward, and as you can see what it's doing to the legs. And now I'm going to wrap right around the top of that foam, right up here behind the eye, about one eye back. And I'm not pulling hard on the foam because I don't want it to create a big um, stretch to where the foam's constantly working against the thread. So I'll give it two, three wraps, not many, and then I'm gonna come underneath it and tie it in. And I'm gonna create a nice little whip finish right here under the foam. This is to secure everything right off the bat now before i cut my thread i'm going to give this little beetle a wing which we're going to use as an indicator and i'm going to use some white antron and what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to take this antron and i'm going to cut a little piece of it off and i'm going to come right up here where i tied in around the top I'm going to put two wraps, and then I'm going to pull this thing right up on top, just like that. 
Now I'm going to take my head, my uh, super glue again, and I'm going to this time put it on my thread like you would do head cement. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap right through here and use that super glue to lock all of this down. Just like this. And now again, I'm going to pull back and I'm going to go ahead and whip finish right here. One, two, three, four, and five. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. And it looks like I cut one leg. Now I'm going to cut the front of this thing right up in front of the eye, straight across. Now I'm going to take this wing, and since it's mainly just an indicator, I'm going to go about half the length of the body to the length of the body and just cut, just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look at my legs, and I'm just going to trim them back to what I feel comfortable that I want my beetle legs to look like. You don't want them too long, and you definitely don't want them too short. So now you can see the beetle and its wing. Let me straighten that wing out just a little. There we go. And we are complete. And that's my shower beetle in tan, our brown.